Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert tabs into your document for clarity. Let's say you're creating an organized list of people in your company by department. In that case, you might want two columns of information, one for the name and another for the department. Tabs can help you do this. Tabs can be inserted before or after text has been written, and tabs can change from section to section in a document. That is, tabs do not have to be uniform throughout your document. So one paragraph might have two left tabs, but the paragraph below that might have no tabs at all. The tab button appears at the far left end of the horizontal ruler, and it's a toggle button. When you click the button, you'll toggle between the four main types of tabs that are available to you. Left tab, center tab, right, and decimal. We also have the bar tab, although that's not actually a tab stop. Wherever you place a bar tab, as the tab moves past that marker, it creates a bar. So that's useful if you wanted to actually draw lines uh, between the columns that are created by the actual tab stops. You also can see that we have the option of setting the first line, left, indent as well. So we have left tab, center, right, decimal, bar, first line indent, and hanging indent. So really, only the first four do we really use. You place tabs into the document by first clicking into the line in which you would like to place the tabs, and then clicking the button until it displays the tab type that you want. Then click, do not click and drag, in the place where you want to put it in the horizontal ruler. So if you wanted a column of left aligned text at one inch in from the left margin, just click once at the one spot on the ruler. You can add as many as you would like. And just remember that you can change tabs on a per paragraph basis. So at that point, to type in your text, you just simply hit tab to jump out to the first tab stop. and then continue typing and pressing tab to jump from tab stop to tab stop. Now when you press enter to move to the next line, basically creating a second paragraph, the tabs will come with you by default. If you did not want the tabs for the next paragraph, then you would have to remove them. And you can see the type of alignment that each type applies. So we can see that the left tab will left align text underneath it. The center tab will center align text underneath it. The right tab will right align text underneath it. And the decimal tab will align numbers by their decimal points unless there are no decimal points in which it will simply right align the text in that particular situation. Now you can move the position of the tabs on the horizontal ruler by simply clicking and dragging them to a new location. So for example, if we wanted to move all of the lines and let's say we wanted to move everything in the item column over to four inches on the ruler. Well first you must select the text to effect. So we would click and drag over the lines we would like to affect, and then just simply click and drag and release the tab at the new point in the ruler. Note that if you did not make a selection first, say you just clicked into a particular line, then when you click and drag the tab, it will only affect that line. Remember, this is on a per paragraph basis. And so if we look at our non-printing characters, there's a paragraph mark at the end of each line, so each line could have its own tab settings. And we can see that after we've made that change that it does. First line has a decimal at five and a half, while the second and third lines have it at five inches. You can also remove tabs after typing. So let's say we didn't want this 
section to have tabs at the two inch mark. Notice that if you click and drag over the tabs or multiple lines and they do not have the same tab order that the tabs appear gray instead of black indicating that there's inconsistent tab markings within the different lines because the decimal tab just changed between line 1 and line 2. You can still click and drag to change them. However, if you didn't want it at all, say you wanted to replace it with a left tab, you can click and drag it and simply drop it in the document. For a moment, things will probably go awry. Simply select the tab that you want though and click back in the ruler at the position where you'd like to set it to put things back into the appropriate order. And notice that now we have left aligned text at two inches instead of center aligned text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.